now I am excited to introduce to you some people who are going to share the smart solutions using their phone to reduce hunger and eliminate waste. Today we have with us Brian Moran, Director of Operations of Plentiful. Brian is going to talk about how Plentiful provides tools for pantries to run their pantries and communicate with their clients. Uh, I'm Brian. I am Director of DevOps at City Harvest, but I've been working on Plentiful exclusively for the last four years. Plentiful is a joint project of City Harvest and United Way and came out of a group called the New York City Food Systems Collaborative. Uh, for those not familiar, familiar with City Harvest, we're a food bank in New York City. We're the nation's oldest food rescue organization. And uh, this year, we're going to move about 144 million pounds of food through New York City to those in need at our food pantries and soup kitchens across the city. Um, I have worked everywhere from running soup kitchens on the ground to now working for the funding agencies of City Harvest and used to work heavily in technology before kind of switching careers here. Some of this is going to be very, very uh, repetitive for those of us that work in the field. Um, but there's about 200 food banks across the country with about 60,000 pantries that are serving over 46 million people each year. There's a generally this whole chain of Feeding America and the National Wide Funders all the way down to the smallest food pantries that might be independently owned and operated. And we're trying to work with everybody across the spectrum. We surveyed a bunch of pantries and we were trying to figure out what pantry directors felt the primary responsibility was. And we found overwhelming was making clients feel welcome, safely distributing food, taking care of all clients, helping food get served quickly. And down the list started coming up, like raising money for the program. And the service they delivered, they raised important was for their clients, the ones that raised essential, was making it easy for clients to discover pantries, gathering feedback for clients, it's something that really gets left out a lot. Uh, creating easy to reports on clients, and minimizing clients' wait times, and helping clients that do not speak English. As we found, most of our pantries use pen and paper tracking. They're run by volunteers. These aren't very large organizations with permanent staff. They're small pantries run out of church and house to faith basements. Uh, and clients experience long wait times, poor word of mouth discovery, inconvenient operating hours, websites and maps. Even in, before Plentiful came along, our own maps on City Harvest, the dates and times weren't always 100% accurate because it was hard to keep that data up to date on a regular basis. So we built Plentiful to address these. We built it kind of a New York City have a core need to minimize client wait time, communicate better with clients in need, help all of our clients in New York City, and make it easy to discover pantries. We stated this by minimizing client wait time, by implementing reservation systems at food pantries that reduces the wait time unless clients pick times they need. Is to communicate with clients across all platforms. So anybody's got a smartphone, email, it's a very soon email at least, um, or even just text message based, helping all clients. We're in nine languages, the top nine languages in New York City by SNAP beneficiaries. And making can use pantries. Because pantries use plentiful data data around their pantries, the schedules were always up to date. Our maps were always up to date. When COVID hit, we lost a third of the pantries in New York City overnight, and the schedules were always up to date, minute by minute. So clients were never directed to the pantries that were closed. Plentiful has three major parts to it. The pantry app, where pantries manage their reservations, their schedules, their services, send messages to clients. And the client apps, which is Plentiful for Families, which is our web-based app coming out this summer, which is a preview and a little bit about that our text message-based service, um, and our iOS and Android native apps, which are getting major refreshes alongside of our web app this spring. Um, Plentiful SMS is our most popular platform in New York City because we built it first. Um, so we've got quite a few users on that, and we've sent over 33 million messages since inception four years ago, and we're currently pacing about three to four million messages a month uh, during COVID here. So the Plentiful Families app is available in nine languages. It's on the iOS store and the Google Play store. You can go ahead and download it. Um, it is seeing a significant visual refresh in the next few weeks here to bring it up to what these images look like. You can find pantries on an interactive map or a list. You can make a few reservations of upcoming pantries. We see notifications of when reservations do become available for pantries you want. Implementing QR code rapid-based intake and check-in. So you can use the webcam like the one I'm on right now to scan QR codes or a dedicated barcode scanner to rapidly intake clients and check them in at any pantry that uses Plentiful. Right now, it's on iOS and Android. This summer, we are going to be launching a web-based version of this that incorporates email reminders and has all the same features that our mobile apps have, but available on the web-based platform for clients without cell phones or without internet access at their house that can use their library and log in, register an email address for the first time with Plentiful instead of requiring a phone number, and still get all the benefits, even though they might not have a mobile phone that's capable of doing this. The text message application is very easy to use. Uh, it's what most of our clients currently use because it's the first one we built, so they love it. It's very easy. It started by texting the word food to pantry or by texting the name of the pantry you're visiting to the phone to number pantry. We ask a few simple questions. What's your name, birth date, household size, number of children, adults, and seniors in the house, and we can help find pantries around. You can make reservations, view schedules. It doesn't have the nice features of the map, 
that the mobile apps have, but you can do everything you can with SMS. And you get notifications, updates, cancel visits made for you by the pantry. The pantry web app is where all the pantries kind of live and breathe and really use Plentiful. And this is where I'm guessing most of the folks on this call here are interested in. The pantry web app for us is the reservation and schedule management features, client messaging, being able to send messages that you type out, that the pantry is only 15 minutes behind, we're gonna be closed tomorrow due to a snowstorm, things like that that get sent out in nine languages automatically to clients. Full client profiles and will store client data on either a per, on a per pantry basis, things like addresses, benefit programs they have access to, things like that, reports and statistics, and of course that QR code and barcode check-in. In addition to that, the platform has several other features. We have targeted mass messaging. We've done this on the scale of sending 250,000 messages out to different to 250,000 users around when COVID started about where to get food delivered to your household if you were homebound. Uh, down to targeted messaging, such as, we know you got rutabag at this pantry today. Here's a recipe for it. We do automated feedback surveys for the pantry's clients visit, gathering net promoter scores along the way for us and for the pantry. We have short form SMS based surveys we implement for people. We also have long form web based surveys that we incentivize. Right now, my office is moving to a new location in the city, and we're asking about the neighborhood from the people that live there. And we, in exchange for that, we're giving them a couple, we're asking for a couple, about five minutes worth of feedback, and we buy them a cup of coffee at a local cafe. We're also building in food bank integration this summer, right now, that will allow our food bank CRS, such as Feed NYC in New York, to get data from the pantries directly. So they're able to see in real time number of people served at different days across the city and be able to manage where they distribute food. We're also working on client CRM integration. So those are pantries that use Microsoft CRM, Dynamics, Salesforce, any sort of system like that that's compatible with automate.io. We're going to be able to pass client data back and forth between those systems to really let them have managed their case management system and plentiful side by side in sync. We're also implementing client driven TFAP attestation. We know this has been a big headache of pantries during COVID with having to gather this paperwork and sign for it. And now that COVID is hopefully wrapping up here, it's going to create an extra load on pantries to have to do this. So we're building it into the client app where they can actually self-attach the TFAP and we generate all the necessary documentation on a pantry by pantry basis. So it's passed along. And clients love it. Um, we survey clients on a regular basis, as I mentioned, on an ongoing basis automatically. And we are consistently in the mid 50s for net promoter score. Um, only four brands had higher net promoter scores than us in a survey of over 300. Um, some of the ones kind of in the same neck of the woods with us are Apple, Jeep, USAA Insurance, Amazon, Netflix. Um, and it's honestly, getting that feedback from clients for us both on a per pantry basis and on a whole network basis of how are we doing with this service has been instrumental. And this is the tech part. Uh, we're built on Amazon Web Services. We are a custom native and React native based application with a Node.js backend. Uh, we're running right now on vanilla MySQL as we move to a multi-master MySQL setup. Um, we use Redis for session management. We're integrating with Salesforce and other things via automate.io, uh, our new apps are React native, and we have extremely deep integration and deep partnerships with Twilio. So we use them from everything from phone number lookup to make sure the phone numbers are valid, mobile addresses we can reach, to delivery of messages, as I said, we're sending over three, 3 million a month at the moment um, with about 30,000 weekly active users on Plentiful. We've had to scale the instances and the infrastructure quite a bit during COVID. We've nearly 10x on the number of messages we've sent during COVID. I'll wrap up here just saying, uh, we're beginning to look at piloting external markets this summer after we launch our web app. We're hoping to test this with food pantries up and down the Northeast corridor and all over the country. If you are a large food pantry or food bank, or someone just wants to kind of get started plentiful, we're planning on offering this both to food banks uh, that want to onboard multiple programs and to food pantries that want to just kind of get up and running. We're going to make this as cost effective as we possibly can. We're really looking to keep this affordable, even for individual programs out there that just want to get online and have a solution for customers make reservations and not have to wait in line. Thank you for your time. This has been a pleasure. I'm happy to answer any questions and you can reach me at brian at plentifulapp.com. <laughs>